Hello and welcome to another video by me, Flo Joe. So today we're going to be looking at the function starts with and also ends with. Now before we start we'll create a variable called name and we're going to assign flowjo to it and then what we're going to do is we're going to pass that variable into the starts with function and then we're going to pass in the string of flow because what we're going to be looking here is to see if flowjo starts with flow and obviously we're going to uh, expect that that to be true so as you can see there we're going to have flow at the beginning so that's what it's going to look for it's going to look for that character in the string of name and then it's going to return true so we know that flow is at the beginning of flow joe it starts with it so let's move on to ends with then now we have the same variable name of flow joe and let's do ends with we'll pass the variable in but this time we're going to pass in flow to see what happens when we know that flow is not at the end of flow Joe. We know that Joe is. So what do we get back then? Well, we get back a false because the statement that flow is at the end of flow Joe is false. But let's do it again now, but actually pass in the flow Joe variable of name and then pass in Joe as the ends with. And obviously it comes back as true because Joe is actually at the end of flow Joe. Right, so let's see this in action on Power Automate then. So what we have here is the variable that we were just talking about, name, and we're passing in flowjo as the string. Then what we're doing is we are using the starts with function. We're passing in the name variable, and then we're passing in flow because that's what we're looking at to be the start of flowjo. Then we are going to be um, passing in ends with the name variable again. We're going to be passing in flow just to show you what actually happens on Power Automate when it's incorrect. And then we're going to actually have a correct ends with where we pass in Joe instead of flow. Okay, so let's kick off this flow and see what results we get back. Just uh, run the flow. Okay, so we've manually triggered the flow. We have set the variable name of flow Joe. We've set the starts with flow and we get true because flow is at the beginning of flow joe. We've set ends with flow which is false because it ends with joe obviously. And then we've done ends with joe and we get a true and that is starts with and ends with functions. That's it from me flow joe. Check out my blog at flowjoe.io for more guides on the power platform and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.